If you haven't heard of the Sujin Taizen genre of game before, you're not alone because I hadn't either. <laughs> but that's what Cascade Cafe is inspired by. It's a path-building digital board game, and that's what Sujin Taizen is all about. And it's relaxing, but intensely strategic, and really engrossing if it gets into your skin. Uh, Cascade Cafe could act as a really good gateway product for you to kind of dip your toe into the genre of game. So it's available on PC. It's for one or two players, and you can play online or offline with your friends, or you can go against bots in practice mode and story mode. And I strongly recommend that you play through story mode before you start playing with friends, because it unlocks various different attacks and cards as a secondary gameplay element that you can then take into your friendly battles. A game in Cascade Cafe plays out in several kind of phases, I would say. Uh, and I'll try and explain the rules of the game and how a game runs so that you kind of get what you're doing. In Cascade Cafe, the goal is to score the most amount of points or get to the target amount of points that you can see in the top of the screen in green. The way how you score points is by laying down tiles and each player has a different colour and a selection of five tiles to choose from at one time. Those tiles will have a number in the centre and lines steaming off of them uh, in directions up, down, left and right. And they might be one, two, three or four paths, those lines, on the tile. You need to choose a tile for your turn and place it down and you can rotate it in any place and you can place it anywhere on the board that you like, so long as it isn't completely cutting off a move from the other player. Now, as you place them down, you'll need to make sure that paths are connected wherever possible, if that's the strategic aim that you're going for, because paths and numbers and chains mean points. So, if you've got two tiles that have got the number one next to each other, that will score you some points so long as the paths are connected. If you get three or four ones next to each other and again the paths are connected, you score more. However, you can also score points for chaining up a one, two, three, four, five combo like that, or like a 543 or however you're doing it so long as the numbers run concurrently you score points for that where the real sweet spot of cascade cafe scoring comes in is that those paths that you can join around into continuous loops or a complete end to end path that stops so that means that you've got two like bookends of a singular path so it can't branch out anywhere you've then completed that path and you might have got a loop in it at the same time, and you might have got a combo of a 1, 2, 3, or a 1, 2, 3, 4, or something like that. All those points stack. So what you're doing is strategically trying to build paths as long as you can, without running into trouble of either running into the other player, getting something wrong and leaving gaps, or running into a corner that you then can't get yourself out of on the map. <laughs> so it's very much risk versus reward versus space and strategy. Now, obviously, your opponent is going to be doing exactly the same thing. And there are a couple of like additional gameplay elements that bring in the strategy, because otherwise you could, in theory, just go off on your tangents and it would just be a tile placement, very luck-based game. But thankfully, the secondary elements bring in the strategy. The first piece of strategy is that there is something called a lucky path, and this is randomised for every time that you play on a map. And it will imprint uh, in like grey-white underneath specific areas in the map that are called lucky paths. And if you can land and match the tile or the path for wherever they are, you score double points. So there's a little bit of territory wars going on there. But obviously it only matters if you get the right tile down, so you're like sorting through trying to see if you can make something work. The secondary other element that you've got are attack cards. Now, you'll see in the top corners of the screen there's like a number and a circle, and that's power or energy. And you can collect more of that by laying tail, uh, tiles down on wherever you can see the blue circles on the screen, and that adds another two points. Underneath your five tiles that you've got on either side of the screen, you'll see that there's space for cards. Uh, and you'll see it on my one on the left hand side because I'm mostly playing bots on this uh, gameplay playthrough. With these cards, each card has a very different attack that it can do. 
It can change the number on your opponent's cards. It can lay traps down that remove tiles from play when someone lands on it. And you have to kind of remember where you've put it. <laughs> Some of them will spin round the tile and completely rearrange a path. And that can be absolutely lethal to a combo when you're just about to get a loop in and someone swoops in with that card. Frustration! Um, but of course they all take energy. You don't necessarily replenish energy during the game, so you have to go out of your way, potentially prioritizing power over combos to get the enough energy to make the attacks. What I found with this is that some cards are really stronger than others, and it doesn't always relate to how much energy you're taking up to make the moves. So that's why I recommend going through story mode first so that you unlock all of these different cards that are available so that you can then bring in the best and most tactically um, aligned arsenal of cards and attacks that you've got against your playstyle. Once you've kind of got all of that together, it's a race against who can get the best combos of stacking points to reach the points tally and win. Not very often will you find that all of your tiles are full on the game and you're kind of stuck in a bit of a stalemate, in which case the one with the highest score wins. But um, quite often, because it's around ruining someone else's turn whilst keeping your own in check, if you're both strategic and savvy enough, you'll hit the points limit relatively easily before you crowd out the entire game itself. But yeah, I had a great time playing Cascade Cafe. The AI isn't going to challenge you too much early on in story mode. Later on, it does throw up some curveballs. It doesn't always seem to prioritize um, making good moves first. Sometimes it goes out of the way to just ruin yours. And that is definitely a tactic, I must admit. Alongside this, I love the visuals. I love the callback to the 90s genre. Um, of digital electronic battery powered games. <laughs> it just gives me smiles. There's also a really chilled out lo-fi chill hop soundtrack by Purple Cat, which suits the mood of this game beautifully. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of if Coffee Talk decided to put in like an actual board game into its game. This is what Cascade Cafe makes me think of. And yeah, I, I recommend it. It's really interesting. It's not something very similar to anything else that I've played before, so it gives me that unique factor. And if you enjoy strategy one-on-one -on -one games, this will absolutely work for you. If you want to take the game online, you both will need to have a copy of the game, and it works really easily. All you do is the first person that joins the game has a little code uh, to pass to the other person. They type in the code and they join you in the lobby, and off and away you go. Work to breeze, ran into no technical issues with that at all. And yeah, thumbs up from me. Written review will be over on higherplanegames.com. Until then, you guys take care. Bye bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.